name is Hattie. I'm the captain of the Rainbow Warrior. I'm from the Netherlands. My background is uh, I started sailing when I was 14 years old uh, on little sailing boats. I uh, became a sailing instructor and actually sailed my whole life. So I think sailing is my thing and that's why I'm here on the Rainbow Warrior. I am Maria. I sail as a chief mate on board the Rainbow Warrior and I'm from Spain. When I was accepted on board a Greenpeace ship, I felt really, really excited because for me it was an opportunity to make change happen. Like you hear nowadays everybody talking about climate change and all the things that big companies need to be done. But I think if the push doesn't come from the society, things just sometimes don't happen as fast as they should. So for me it was really good. I want to do these campaigns because this is exactly why I'm here and what I want to do. Of course the sailing on a beautiful day with a nice calm sea is fantastic, but the campaign is uh, why I'm here. The big thing what we're going to do here is show the world the beauty of marine life here in West Australia. Sailing with an all-female bridge deck is amazing. <laughs> um, I don't have many opportunities to do that. Even in Greenpeace it's not so common. Like this is my second time in almost 10 years that I sail with uh, all a female team on, in the bridge. I think it's great. I think uh, I, I would love to do it more often. It's not that I don't want to sail with males, but I, I think it's like the change that I want to see more. My name's Helena. I'm from Australia and I'm sailing currently as a second mate on board here, the Rainbow Warrior. Yeah, I was excited to join this trip with colleagues that are also friends and the fact that it was all female. I, it's the second time I've sailed with an all female bridge team and so when I did, you know, it wasn't intentional that they to, that it was planned this way, but when I found out I was joining and it was going to be all female, there was a level of pride and excitement about it. My name is Adriana Angulo. I'm a third mate on the Rainbow Warrior and I'm from Colombia. Working at sea for women, I think it's still it's very difficult. Even for me, starting it was uh, not common, first of all. And the industry, it's really not so open to receiving women. I think the sea is not yet accessible for women. I think we are getting there, but it's still a long way to go. Uh, I've been sailing uh, on board ships all my life and it's not that I'm super old, but um, yes, I always found barriers on the way. And it's not always easy to be there having to prove yourself that you can do it. it sometimes it's a lot of load. I think the pathways for women working at sea are changing. I think it's becoming easier and more women have paved the pathway. So there's definitely women that have have come before us that have really done the work to make it easier. Previously I've never worked with that many women on ships. Um, I've learned that you are a person first, like re regardless of the work that you're doing, like you're a person first and then you're a worker and for example with Hetty, like I don't see her like a boss, I see her like really a leader, a person that's very inspiring for me. I see myself as a, a little bit as a mentor for my, the rest of the crew, mainly the female crew, but also the male uh, mates actually. I think at one point you arrive at a certain age and that is something natural. If I would meet now a woman who wants to join, it doesn't matter the age she is, I would tell her that this, if this is what she wants, uh, she should go for it. It's a great experience. I'm sure she learned something new and why not um, just apply <laughs> right now. It's more than a job for sure. For me, it's a lifestyle. It's a connection. It has become a bit of a family environment as well. Like it's, yeah, it really brings a lot. I always say follow your heart. Everything, if you want, everything is possible. People will look strange at you in the beginning, but people start more and more to accept it because yeah you have women who like this and this is just how it is. My advice for little girls that are interested in the maritime industry is just go for it like 
nothing is too hard for us. Uh, be consistent, be disciplined, be able to not be afraid to whatever men will say, and yeah, be prepared to shut people's mouths. <laughs>